always can use a proxy. Ready for this? Fire it up! Lean on me. Got a train to catch. Fuck, that hurts. It's God, I know, so me. But you killed it. Saved our asses. Lee, you hear that? It's the Black Wall. No fear, Song. Right here with you. Bad soon. Finally. Whew. Still with me? Holding up? Uh... Say we make it. Ever wonder what'll happen to Reed? Myers is. was done with him. I actually doubt much will change. Listen to the hum. Wish I could fall asleep. Never to wake again. So me. Reed. I had a dream about him recently. I repeat, same damn nightmare, about that same damn train, him dying because of what I did. Just a bad dream, Song. I had my orders, I executed. Orders from Myers? Sounds ridiculous now. Years on, he's still her loyal hound. And I can't get away fast enough. Will Johnny be blunt? If not downright crude, I'll just say, betraying a friend, nothing worse. I regret it. I do. But, can't turn back time. I'd like to just forget. Myers gave the order. Treated you like your tool. Song? 
Lee's not the only one I've betrayed. Mine's wandering some. Blackwall gotta be. Neural Matrix V. Can only be used once. Once? How so? It's a captive AI from beyond the wall. Relies on continuous evolution to exist. I'll free it and end the process. It'll then execute my commands and disintegrate irretrievably. How long have you known this? That only one of us could come out alive? Sina, sure. I learned that it existed. Started delving and... Serious? I... I think... I think... I'm gonna die soon. The regret... I wasn't honest with you. I'm sorry. Could've told me the truth. Would've helped you anyway. Song? Hot diggity fuck. Color me impressed. Bird took everyone for a ride. Myers, Hanson, Reed, you. Having some fun with me, are you? No, I'm fucking serious. Takes character to be a bastard front to back and inside out. Believe me, I know. Woman's obsessed, determined to a fault. That earns my respect. Fuck all that. Thing is, you and me are back at square one. Still have that problem. Find some way to save ourselves. Could always call Reed on the hollow. Hmm. Think he'd kill me. Damn, globe-sized ego, V. You mean zilch to him. One. Just one person he's gunning for. Well, nice to drop in and shoot some shit, V. High time you woke her, though. Hey, Song. Almost there. Clearly need some help. Nearly there. Ends in sight. Fucking hell. Stop there. Look, look. Put her down. Go now. So, what do you want to do? Reed, she's fucking dying. I see two near corpses with a death wish. Your fault alone if she kicks it. Right, because you and Myers had no hand in this shit. That is all that awaits her on the moon. You want to save her? Leave her to me. Reach for her, and I'll kill you. Final warning. Not afraid of you, Saul. No. Too damn late. Fuck. 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 Yeah. 
had no choice. But your friend there will join Reed in the beyond if you don't hurry your ass. Gonna be okay. One last push. Bound for the moon, so me. Getting away from them all. Let's see, what do we got here? Life support activated. Diagnostics. Pressure, O2, infusion pump. Get that feeling too sometimes. Drop everything. Leave it all behind. Wouldn't it be nice? Uh, Gently now. Space is pure freedom, so me. launched a spacecraft. You? Same, man. Same. T minus 50 seconds. Solid propellant engines burning. Spark igniters active. She won't get far. You doubt she's gonna make it? No idea. But wherever she goes, her problems will follow. She's free. Slammed at home. She has just a bit of what I lacked entirely. Fucking luck. Song had a goal. Was ready to pay profusely for it. And she did just that. Think I paid no price? They killed you because you wanted them to. Your only way to be a hero was to be a dead one. Huh. Guess I could have done more. Been different. Maybe. Could also be I was convinced I couldn't make it out alive. And maybe, just maybe that chick had great follow-through to the fucking end. And I lacked that last ounce of determination. Duh. Well, at least you're being honest with yourself. That in itself is some version of freedom. What do you say next? Be all you can be? Limitations are all in my head? Just watch the show, Johnny. T-Zero, lift. go from here now we wave bye-bye to your dreams of living a long happy life we'll see how the dice roll things ain't all bad at any rate politicos and spies at war us in the middle we came out whole sure should made some enemies powerful ones too Myers will remember won't let it pass no fucking way after you killed the most loyal of her hounds. Giving it too much credit, Johnny. Myers sacrificed Saul once already. Set him up. At least this time, he decided how he died. Yeah, on his own terms. Best sunset to life he could hope for. Best any of us can, actually. 
Miles better living with the knowledge you shredded and trounced your ideals. Need to shift focus now. To myself. My own path. I'll say. Fucking with NUSA plans launching a half-dead cyborg into orbit? Adds bricks to that edifice called Legend. But clock's ticking, friend. You're dying. Gotta do something about it. Hey, Song. Almost there. Clearly we need some help. Nearly there. Ends in sight. Fucking hell. Stop there. Look, look. Put her down. So now. So, what do you want to do? Straight con she is. Not about to die for it. It was all for a ride. Don't feel I owe her a damn thing. Take her. All yours. I ain't naive. There's a price to pay. Gotta be. I know that. Want just one thing. To survive. Live on. Just one dose. One instance of the cure exists. So I decided to keep it, but left me with nothing. I hate it. That one dose. That surprise. Need the cure and the rippers who know how to use it. Mention contacts in Europe. Personal ones. In Europe, at Langley too. The NUSA specialists are on top of their game. I could do that. You get your cure, I take Songbird with me. Then we go our separate ways. Do we have a deal? Deal. Take her. But don't fucking let me die. <laughs> Taking you home, Somi. Taking you home. Area secure for landing. No, we will not do that. We grab the girl and go. Thought about how you're gonna spend your 30 pieces of silver? I'll be in touch! Don't keep me waiting. Good night's sleep, V. That's what you need. More than I do. Was just thinking to myself. Who are you now? Dunno, I mean, fuck. Now I kind of feel sorry for the chick. Not thinking about her, thinking about yourself. Fearing your end. Healthy egotism, I'd call it. No, just wanted to say that woman had the shittiest fucking luck in life. Shitty luck's what I ran into at Compeki Plaza. Wanted to fly high, too close to the sun. Both of you. Yet, as an ancient Chinese proverb says, ain't no jumping over your own ass cheeks. Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks. That's it. In a hurry to get out of Dodge? 
Should have warned me. We might have just missed each other. Maybe I was hoping for that. I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. <laughs> Long-ass way to drive, Chum. Well, trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. Open road for the quintessential introvert. Solve some problems on your own. Not all of them. I did call you. Drag you out here. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep. I'm trying to break things down. Keep asking myself. And... I don't know, but maybe you do. Show me. Up there in Space Force One. She raised you on the hollow, not me. Why? Song didn't trust you. Knew you'd prove Meyer's loyal hound in the end. Was ordered to hunt her, but I helped her instead. Want proof of loyalty? No better proof than that. Can only tell you what I think's right. Don't have any cut and dry answers for you. How about asking her yourself? You'll reach DC eventually. She's already there. Uh, opportunity's not likely to be there. Might well have botched some choices you faced in life. Not my place to judge. One thing's sure, though. Consequences of your mistakes? You gotta learn to live with them. Hmm. Time for me to fly. And honesty, much appreciated, V. You deserve the soul. Await contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready. Poor fucking bastard. Feel sorry for him? You. Dunno, maybe. Guy's bankrupt, all out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Sure hope he sets up that surgery for me first. Oh, he will. Guy's honorable. Possibly his biggest problem. Chum lost everything. Literally. Just hasn't realized it. Yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club-sized bird. His ideals bottom of a cesspit, choking on shit. He'll hang himself. Wouldn't end well. I kept hoping. 
awake. Now I know when you lose something, it's for good. So me. I'm, I'm fading, V. Help me out. So me. I... I tried on my own. Don't have the strength. Please. Freedom. You it's deserve it, so me. Oh. I'll do it. Thank you. And... And I'm sorry. For everything. Show me. Which you laid on me. Damn it, Reed. Sorry. Yeah, so am I. We need to get her out of here. Right. Let's get moving. Being awful quiet. Everything all right? I think I'm all out of words for you. What happened back there? Can tell it's eating at you. Wanna talk about it? You wanna know what's eating at me? That I didn't get to her first. Ahead of you. Reed. It should have been me down there with Zomi. Not you. I should have looked her in the eye. Heard her say she wanted out of life. I could have changed her mind. Really think so? No one's fault, Reed. Stop. Just stop. Somi chose this path. Nothing was gonna change that. Shame will never know if there's any truth to that. The choice wasn't yours to make, Reed. It wasn't your fault.
FIA Special Agent Terry. I'll have our people take over the body. No. V, could you carry Somi? Please. I got her. Place her here. Take good care of her. V, the president will like a word. Won't shake your hand, Myers. Not after all this. Surely if there's any blame to lay here, it would be at your feet, not mine. You're the reason Somi's dead. Know that, right? That if you hadn't pushed her past the black wall off a goddamn cliff. I did not let that girl drag me around Dogtown by the nose simply to put her down. You know that, don't you? Did what I had to do. Don't regret a thing. Conscience couldn't be clearer. Maybe you can tell me what that feels like someday. Here's what I do know. You can only fool yourself for so long. Rosalind, <laughs> truly hope one day you'll understand. Understand me, so me, Reed. I'd wager I understand more than you think. Much more. All right. I can't deny you tried to help her. Thank you for your service to the NUSA. Rosalind, wait. And? My reward? Remember being promised some help. You were promised assistance for bringing So Me in alive. If you fail to deliver your end of the bargain, why should we deliver ours? In fact, we should charge you for the harm you've brought to the agency and the NUSA. But the federal government isn't petty. As for compensation, set to go. She asked me once if I'd always be by her side when she fucked up. I said I wouldn't miss it for the world. She didn't believe me. Just smiled. Shook her head, but she wasn't buying it. I could tell. Lost all my friends when you recruited me, she said. Now don't you become my enemy. That's all I ask. Was I a friend or an enemy? Fuck. Maybe all of you- shit. Crown's fucking hot. Think you're all looking for something different.
but you weren't her enemy, Reed. Pretty darn sure of that. Yeah, at least one of us is sure of something. I failed her. Know what it's like to lose someone close. All the questions you think of, then mole. With no prospect of ever getting an answer. Questions without answers about summed up my whole life there. You know, Reed, got to know so me about as well as you knew her. You ever want to talk? <laughs> I think it's high time you headed back to Night City. Show me. For all it's worth. I hope you're in peace. I wasn't sure you'd show. Grab a seat. We need to talk. First met right on this court. That why we're here? To say goodbye? We'll see. Goodbyes come in all shapes and sizes, hues and tones. V, I'm gonna come out and say it. You failed as an FIA-associated operative. You failed me, Alex, Myers, hell, maybe even yourself. Whoa, no holes barred, huh? Reed, I... In spite of that, here we are. Watching a ball game, talking. Do you know why? Say it ain't so, Saul. You here to apologize? Tell me you'll help after all? I see you still have your sense of humor. I can't help you and I got nothing to apologize for. Close, though. All right, let me hear it. You were right. I wanted to tell you in person. You were right, V. Need to be more specific. What exactly was I right about? V, I almost lost everything because of you. Fuck, Reed. Don't talk. Just listen. I lost partners, friends, the trust of my superiors. Everything I believed in, built my life on, gone in seconds. All because I believed you'd help me save Somi. Why do I get the feeling you still blame me for everything? Because I do. But given what happened, V, well... I'm starting to see the other side of all this shit. That's why I said I think you were right. I got nothing to lose now. I might be able to gain something for once, though. All because of you, or thanks to you. Not sure which is more fitting. So, what will you do now? Plans, schemes, what? Washington beckons, likely for a stern audience with Her Majesty, then relegation to a desk at Langley. Maybe scribbling on whiteboards, flipping through slides, feeding fresh recruits horseshit, among other humiliations. They already booked me to Red Eye, and see the DC Direct. Plan to get on it? Good question. Should I? Screw Washington. Your old life's there. That's what awaits you. Clearly need a new life. Hop in a car and full speed ahead, I say. And then what? Make it up as you go along. Done it. It works. I know. That you do. Got a few nomad friends. You could ride with them. Always a place to start. Just let me know. 
I don't know what I'll do. And I'm all right with that. Forgot how that felt, but I really fucking missed it. So thanks. Don't sweat it. Buy me a brosef sometime. I'm afraid there won't be a next time. You know that. Take care, V. I'm gonna hang back a little. So me. Hold out a little longer. You know, that's not true. I see it on your face. So me. I'm... I'm fading, V. Help me out. So me. I... I tried on my own. Don't have the strength. Please. End it. I'll go so me. I... I can't. Over. That's not a solution. It's the only solution. I'm begging you, V. No, not a solution, Somi. Please, you don't understand. I... I can't kill you. No, I just won't. No, please. You're leaving me to a fate worse than than death. Show me. You're all right. It'll be over soon. You'll get some rest. said a word the whole way. What's eating you? Don't know. I don't know, V. Wanna talk? You know, about what happened. We did good. Did the right thing. We'll get our help. But I can't... I can't help stop seeing the same scene. Like it's burned inside my dome. We're in a car, moving, leaving Brooklyn. She refuses to turn, look back. No tears, no sobbing, just a statement. Seems like you saved my life. She doesn't believe it. I can hear she doesn't believe it. Would she say the same now?
got this itch. Bothers me. Somi said that it's too late. That she's beyond saving already. She's wrong. The best specialists work for us. World's top surgeons. We'll find a way. We're in the same boat. Clock's ticking for both Song and me. Just hope the FIA's up to the task. Of course. Let's go. Out of the car. Now. Stand the fuck down. Can't you see she needs help? V, I need you to help her. I got it. Right here, sir. Easy does it. Area secured. All clear for landing. Don't worry, Somi. We'll help. This will be over soon. Take good care of her. V, the President will like a word. Can't loiter here. Good to see you, Madam President. Likewise. Congratulations. I see the operation was a success. V, you risked your life to help me. To help our nation. That merits recognition. Didn't do all this for a medal. Because I had no choice. I'm trying to survive, not collect scrap. I see. Very well, then. In spite of everything, I appreciate your help. It won't be forgotten. So what happens now? We say our goodbyes. You will return to Night City. Take pride in what you've achieved here, V. What about the help you promised me? The medal is purely symbolic, of course. Your actual compensation will be more practical. Reed will fill you in on the details. So long, Rosalind. Best of luck, V. Perhaps one day you'll be called on to serve again. We'll have our eye on you. set to go she asked me once if I I'd always be by her side when she fucked up I said I wouldn't miss it for the world 
She didn't believe me. Just smiled. She shook her head. She wasn't buying it. I could tell. Then she dropped this bomb. Lost all my friends when you recruited me, she says. Now don't you become my enemy. That's all I ask. I wonder now if she was right not to believe me. Or did I keep my promise? fucking hot. The medal they tried to offer you, Somi got the same one. Right after her first FIA off. She gave it to a homeless man on 21st. The guy just pinned it to his jacket like it was nothing and asked for spare change. Damn it, V. Just damn. It's just the kind of person Song was. Unpredictable or uncompromising. Walked her own paths only, and always. It's a shame we didn't know where they'd lead. Listen, I need a few days to put together what we promised you. I trust that's no problem. Rather you hurried up. Kind of living on borrowed time here. I'm aware. Ever since the start of this whole FIA business, been trying to pin down a strange feeling. This fear gnawing at my insides, yelling louder and louder, yelling that I should delta as far away as possible, think I've finally figured out what it was. Demons of your past come tugging at your balls? Tenacious, the motherfuckers. Some stories don't get a happy ending for the credits roll. Leaving questions you're never gonna find the answers to. Questions you'll lug around till the day you croak. <sighs> Sounds about right. Better believe it. Can turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know. Dwelling on past mistakes. How do you mean? You try so hard to run away from them, you forget you're going around in a neat little circle, heading for a head-on. And fucking bam. Exactly. Ah, uh, one way or another, shit always ends up fucked. First Saburo, then Yorinobu, now Myers. Got a knack for getting in dangerous peep's ways, you know? For real, though. How's it feel, you know, with all that's gone down? Zero plenty of people, but with her, just couldn't find it in me. Had a tomb during the war, Cole. M9 shredded him, was bleeding out in my lap. There I am, holding his stomach, trying to stop his guts from spilling out. Telling him it's gonna be alright. We're gonna get him home. He tells me to let go, and give him a smoke. So you let him die? 
I gave the man his smoke. Not helping, Johnny. Not making your life any easier, I know. But thinking about Songbird, about Reed, finally starting to see why I did all the shit I did. Why I went AWOL during the war, then set off on the warpath against Arasaka. Why I called Carrie a fucking pussy so many times. Think I finally understand why, despite all that's gone down. I feel for Reed. Cause we're one and the same. Idealists fighting for a cause, blind to the fact that it'll put everyone we care about in the ground. Only thing sets us apart is this faith in the system, in its principles. Except the line twin believing in an ideal and being plain naive is, well, Pretty fucking thin. That's where you're nothing alike. Reed did everything he could to keep Song alive. Sacrificed all, even himself. You, on the other hand... Guess I was never chasing ideals. Not really. Life. That's what I was running from. And? Still running? Does it matter? I'm still breathing. Sort of. Just don't know what the fuck for. Gotta keep reminding yourself. I'll start by taking a good look at myself in the mirror. Already know I'm gonna fucking hate what I see. Alright. Good talk. Get up. And what? Glad we talked, Johnny. You've changed. For better or worse. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Ah, shit! Hey, grab a seat. How's the game? Brings back memories. Just no iron to in the ribs this time, please. I already decided I won't kill you. Oh, so sweet. I called you because I never got a chance to thank you. We did what we had to. So me a live. Good work. So what about Somi? How's she doing? The changes in her nervous system. Entropic breakdown. They were too far gone. The Matrix didn't take. It's now in storage, being kept for you. We had to resort to alternate means, but Somi will live. I believe she might even return to active duty. Gotta hope these alternate means of yours do the trick. We made her a promise. Told her she'd be okay. I said she'd get the best care available. A chance to make up for her mistakes, mend her ways. I can't do any more than that. Yeah, <sighs> I know, you're right. Did what we had to. Only thing we could do to give Somi a second chance. Somehow keep her safe. I'm with you on that. Just can't help wondering if... He couldn't have done more for her. V, Songbird is an FIA agent in critical condition in an FIA clinic. In the care of our top specialists. There's nothing more I can do for her. It's fully out of my hands. Meaning what? Myers has summoned me back to Washington. 
Langley or Glencoe is probably my next post. Desk job. To start, for a while, plucking promising operatives out of a pool of new recruits. Promising operatives, you say? <laughs> I gotta admit, you're pretty good at reading people. I mostly have an eye for talent. I guess that'll have to do. Well, seems you might have finally found your place on Earth. You ought to find yours, too, before it's too late. Just not at any price. You know how that ends. Mm-hmm. All right. Take care, Reed. I'll drop you a signal once our neurosurgeons are set. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Come on, you knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. It's obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raise and read on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. Good luck, V. Thanks, Reed. For everything. So this is how it ends. Sorry, Johnny. I am. Just... FIA is powerful. Gives me the best chance. I get it. I do. Your choice to make. Not mine. Just need... a moment to think. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Right. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Kinda nervous, not gonna lie. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Was thinking. Wanna get one last look at Night City? That beautiful old bitch. What do you say? 
I want to bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. You'll never be too sure. Just open it. you on the spot. Second, would have never survived the rest without my expert advice. I know you're kidding. It's actually true. You saved me. Relic was your life support, but what saved you was courage, the will to survive. Us meeting? Coincidence. Shit we went through together, though. That's what counts. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden-free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo? Guess. So? Promise me one thing, will you? I promise. No idea what, but I promise. Not asking you to never give up. Sometimes you gotta let go. Just don't let anyone change who you are, okay? Johnny. Good night, Vincent. Today was a good day. V, I wanted to speak with you. V, you in there? You scared me, you know that. I think you had nightmares. He screamed a few times. I don't know what I would do without you. Take care, V. And I would not want to cock this up. You were a dreaming bee. Those were memories. Wake up, bee! Afterlife. See you there. Ah. 
eyes. They're opening. I think he sees me now. B, can you hear me? Think I in here. And I can talk. Good. About time. Was told you got a new job. New duties. Lots of them. Busy bear. No time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. Hearing a big ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. <laughs> Imagine the future would look a little different. Joke. Shit, I'm impressed. What good would it do to raid your reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. Need some air. Legs of jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself. Preen, where's my stuff? Be listen to me. Your body, it ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. No. Office like that. Not ready for him yet. Understood. I still wanted you to know right off that you had the option. Look. My world just shattered. Like... into splinters. Really think I can plan my next career move? Besides... This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be. Given your old one is long gone. 
Don't know, someday, maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Read. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. Night City. Can I get a flight there? Uh, your AV's not quite ready. Bear with us, please. It won't be much longer. Vic. V? Is it really you? You don't know how good it is to hear you. It's good to hear you too, V. But how are you... Why? So... This netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. Two-year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. Hey, Jude. V. Where are you been to? NUS Clinic. Had the uh, surgery. It's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of the time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. I'd never see you again. Dealing? 
with some drawbacks. I, uh, I'll never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but got no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Sounds like you're angling not to be part of it. Mad at me for disappearing, right? No. I mean, sure, I was, but... Finally decided you'd have pinged me if you could. Now it's just... V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now... Really can't help you. Seriously? Congrats, Judy. <laughs> Thanks. I wish you could have come to the wedding. I'm just glad you found what you were looking for. When you disappeared, I knew I had to get away from Night City. And, well, <laughs> that's how I met Bianca. And what do you know? I, I'm happy, V. Well, bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. A lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Uh, hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. I can explain everything, I can. Rather do it face to face though. Guess it comes down to... Just not wanting to be alone right now. You find a moment. Bring me back. Yeah? See you. Soon. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. V, did you get that? My question. I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. They could love it. Sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NC, V. Heh. <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem somewhat absent. Might I ask how you feel? Dunno. 
hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? Well said. Other corporations are now attempting to fill the... uh... hole. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Ah, uh, Are you talking to me? Nah, no, to myself, Del. Doesn't matter. This is it. I shall be right Better here awaiting going. your return. And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? What if I ain't? Traveling's not loud anymore. Oh, it's loud. Just not here, dog. I see. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic, so good to see you, old Ripper. 
V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Come on. Gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty Sharp. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment. So what's the matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be him again. You know what I mean? What are you trying to say exactly? This Sata Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of, of all the things I knew. <laughs> Can't imagine how Johnny felt waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. So... First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that it... Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. 
and life-threatening You said guy. you can do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Vector, nothing personal, you know? But you sew me up now, or I'll file a complaint. Well... I was on my way out, so... Ugh... V... You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me any time, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. She landed in some kind of shit storm. What can I tell you? Petro Kim Cox fucked us. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo Chill, rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Drop it. Let me alone. Hmm. Uh. Nope. Show me the money. Fuck off. I can play that game. Are you in one piece? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. Nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh. Is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. 
as all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? <laughs> Man, of all people. Never thought I'd see you leave in Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Take your cue from your cards? Nah, it wasn't the cards. Close, though. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Could use a smoke, too. Here. Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Dunno what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. But it did? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Made the best choice of all of us. Leave an NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? 
Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore.